All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the Steve Malzberg Show, taking your calls. Uh, 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. And let's go to Dan uh, from uh, Oregon, Ohio. Hello, Dan. Hi, Steve. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You can follow the RNC money, and you know who to, who to look for, and Rubio is one of them, because you definitely follow the buck. And I don't understand what has gone on with Trump lately, because at first the media was heavy on him, you know, hitting on him hard, and it seems like now they're also giving him a free pass. I don't know if they're just waiting for the general election to cut loose, but I've been so tired of watching TV coverage. I've had to you guys have been pretty good, but I've been listening to talk radio at night. It just seems I'm like getting more level common sense, not so much favoritism, you know. And Ted Cruz definitely gets no good coverage on TV hardly. He's just, he just just seems pretty much lopsided this whole election. I'm just getting sick and tired. It's like watching the Super Bowl; everything's glorified. Well, you know, it's good to get more and more glorified as we go along. The question is, you know, why? I mean, to sit there and watch Megyn Kelly fawn all over, as we saw in the previous segment, fawn all over Marco Rubio. I like, I like Marco Rubio. Uh, but to see Megyn Kelly fawn all over him and say, they say you're scripted, but oh, you're so eloquent and you know, you're, you're, you're so wonderful and you're so, you speak. I mean, w what was that? I, that I can't get. Well, and the night of the debate when she framed Ted Cruz, that was, that was rotten. Well, that yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? It is what it is, I guess. But uh, that's why we're here, and I hope you're, I hope you're sticking with us uh, in our primetime lineup. You know, uh, starting, uh, starting here on, on, on Newsmax Television, taking you right through the night. Uh, thanks for the call, Dan. Let's go to Tim from Roland, Iowa. Hello, Tim. You're next, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, enjoy your show. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, I'm a true believer. I'm a Trump supporter. And uh, I have a couple comments here. Uh, first one is on uh, the media demanding uh, substantive answers with uh, especially Donald Trump. Should direct those questions to candidates like especially Jeb Bush and others who have super PAC and lobbyist money and special interest money. What, are they gonna, what direction are they going to take the uh, country with that kind of uh, interest in their back pocket? And they should know by now that the people are figuring out the puppet process has, has failed America. And also, I think Trump's running on vision and genuine and gen, being genuine has a lot more pull than that. And the second part of my question is, who is this Gilmore guy? <laughs> and why is he still in the race? Oh, oh, so, oh uh, Governor Gilmore? Well, I mean, Governor Gilmore right. is a is a you know a, a veteran. Uh, governor Gilmore was uh, the governor of the state of Virginia, very successful uh, governor, and uh, he's very qualified in in many ways. I mean, he never got any traction for whatever reason, and and uh, got into one debate, I think. And I guess I don't know. Is he? I guess he's technically still in the race because he hasn't dropped out. But um, he's a nice guy. You never hear you never hear any coverage of him. Yeah. Well, we've had him on this show at least three or four <laughs> times, actually. Hey, I, I remember that. Tim, thank you very much, sir. I want to get uh, go to Leon, Kansas, and welcome in Alan. Hello, Alan. How you doing there, Steve? Good, sir. Thanks for calling. What can I do for you? Enjoy your program. I, uh, I'm you. a Trump fan. I believe in everything he, he believes in, and I'm going to vote for him. And I'd like to talk about the gun control. Yeah. Uh, all these people who are against guns, what would they do if they had gun control back when we were fighting the British for freedom? Well, of course. I mean, uh, that's uh, you, you make a you make a great point. Um, that's why the framers, uh, the authors of the Constitution, and and our founding fathers made sure that uh, uh, Americans would have a right to arm themselves. Exactly. And uh, why is uh, Mr. Obama still in the office? Well, it's still his term. Uh, but since we have Republicans leadership who have claimed he's broken the law. And, uh, and trampled on the Constitution, it then becomes their constitutional duty to start impeachment proceedings. But these are, these are leaders in the Republican Party who don't have the guts to stand up to him over a budget. So it's kind of a rhetorical question you're asking there, Leon. Thanks. Great to talk to you, sir. Rabbi Shmuley Boteik is next. Wait till you hear about Hillary. Don't go away. <laughs> 